Miata owners, we may know that the, the clutch system, the hydraulics, can be kind of a pain sometimes. Sometimes it feels like Mazda is just gaslighting you regarding this or something. You know, you look for help online and everyone just says, oh, you have air in your line. Well, first step, you're going to replace clutch lift cylinder. There she is. And then you're going to bleed the system. If it doesn't work, you're going to place this one. Bleed the line and see if it's better. If it's not, you're going to replace this guy. All right, and you're going to bleed the thing. And look, get the one that goes the whole distance, not just half. Why, why go halfway? <laughs> No half measures, as they said in Better Call Saul. Anyways, um, then if it still doesn't work, replace this again because you forgot to bench bleed it. Then replace the other one and then this one back and forth. Keep replacing them. Trying again. And, you know, you go online for help. Oh, there's just air in the line. Anyways, next what you're going to do, you're going to find the Flying Miata Guide PDF to adjusting the clutch pedal. And you're going to follow those steps to untwist some little parts down there. Then you might feel better. But let's say you have a unique problem where... Let's say you have a unique problem where sometimes your clutch is catching right at the top. Other times it's all floppy and it's catching at the bottom. Top, bottom, top, bottom. Well, is there air in the line and then 20 minutes later it's all cleared out and then it's back? Probably not. So I was reading through a bunch of forums, and people are saying, one guy is saying there's a uh, this clevis pin for the clutch pedal. All right, so let's see. Here's the clutch pedal. Um, if we come up here, you can see this. Oh, I should really be laying on my back already, but this little silver pin that goes through it. Notice how it's loose? It's also got some wiggle. Um, there's a bushing that goes through that guy. And I don't think I'm going to be able to record it. <sighs> this guy online said their clevis pin was moving too much, rotating even. And after replacing the bushing, the clevis pin didn't move as far, causing the clevis to not be able to move, causing the push rod to stay in one place. We're going to also show you the whole process because it involves taking the clutch pedal out of your car and I imagine most of us haven't done that before. So first step, we're going to take our seat out. It's optional, ultimately. This way your legs can go up the back wall thing and you're not going to hurt your back. I vacuumed my carpet. You can't probably tell that well because I got the flash on. And so all the little parts, pit, particles stick out, but vacuum your carpet. It's going to be all dirty. Next, if you can, if you got a quick release, there you go. Free points. If you, you should go ahead and remove this thing, this little plate. Um, it's like four screws. And then finally, take these two nuts off here. And then this guy will just slide straight forward. We're going to disconnect two electrical connections down here and then we're going to remove a plastic nut and then we're going to remove a 12 millimeter bolt. So I can tell you right now this has got to be the plastic nut and I can just spin it with my hand which is great. Okay, here's one plas one connector and see somewhere. So this is the whatever box. Uh, up here you can see where that disconnects. I found that 12 millimeter bolt. So here's, you know, there's our pedal. It comes up here. And from right here you see th that that connector thingy that we just unplugged and yeah, there's that bolt it looks like. So we're just, I thought I was gonna do this with a wrench, but no, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do this with a wrench. Um, but obviously I have a clear line for a socket and an extension. Here's the pedal. We've taken it out. It's come down to the floor. I had to shimmy it just a little. It wasn't that bad. Uh, this is that electrical connector. So it comes off the little white box with the little pushy stick. I don't know. Um, and it goes up and sort of loops around. Uh, basically, it, mine like 
So it's two wires and then one of them splits into like two more wires and then it, I don't know, just goes into the void somewhere. The other one, like basically I don't know that I can unplug it on this end. I gotta unplug it on this end. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take these little nuts off and then that would be good enough. All right, I'm in the most uncomfy position right now, but basically I've been spinning these nuts off and I already got it, but I put it back on there just to show you. Like this thing just, it just slips right on. It's bolted in, slips off. I recommend just take those nuts off. You don't need to disconnect the electricals for that. All right, so now, oh, kind of stuck. We can pull this, ta-da. Check it out. I got an automatic Miata, guys. I just lost half its value. Can you see that? I don't think that's right. I don't know if that means anything, but it's not supposed to do that. So this is the clevis pin, I think, and this little thing is the clevis. Clevis. Uh, it looks like I'll just take this little ring off and then push the clevis through and the push rod will come off and then we'll see what kind of bushings we got. Oh, I got bushings part numbers uh, in the description for you guys. Don't worry. All right, we're just pulling this little, I'm going to call it the clevis pin clip. All right, there we go. So now that's off. We might be able to... Oh, there's the clip. So we might be able to slide the clevis pin straight out. You want to push that guy? All right, so we're going to, we put it on its side here. We're going to put a punch right here. All right. Shoot. Hmm. All right, so we basically got it here. Nice. There's the clevis pin. So now, ooh, the the rest of this thing. Wait, can we just take this out just to see? Nice. The camera is focused on the wrong thing. Oh, there's the clevis pin bushing. Um, so there is some difference here. You can see this one versus this one. Notice that. <laughs> uh, okay. Someone on an old forum said that we should replace these two while we're in there. I'm not sure where they go. All right, so this bolt that goes through the spring, I think these bushings go somewhere in there. I'm not sure. And so we're going to go ahead and take this off. I had to use the impact gun to get this nut free. I don't know what this yellow stuff is, but it's pretty cool. Um... Looks like there's a lock washer behind the nut, and then hopefully this will just push through. Oh. Almost there. And spring explosion. Not really. But it's probably not that great for the bolt here. Whoa! Alright, spring explosion. Okay. Have a look. Empty. And this thing, I think these are the Definitely. culprits. Well, that's easy. Alright. I'll just put those in there and stop. Wow, look at this white plastic 3D printed brand new thing. This thingy slides straight through really easily. I don't know if this means anything. I, I don't know if there's any reason to replace these. The old ones are still like fully intact, seem to be doing their job, but. All right, this is put back together. Um, I don't know the torque specs. I just got it pretty tight. Um, I strongly rec recommend take a picture of the spring before you take it out, if you were to take it out. But here's how it goes. The little thingies that are bent point away from the nut. Uh, 
and you know they sit like this on this side of the pedal uh yeah so now with the clevis pin bushing in this doesn't really move anymore i don't know if this means anything but we'll have to see from my anecdotal evidence after driving around for a while i'll come back and tell you okay uh, that thing's put back in uh seat is in um 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 there's the clutch pedal. What's up? It's me from the future. It's been like eight weeks since I recorded all of that clevis pin stuff. Um, it did not help. Okay, so basically, here's what happened. I, I experienced the same issue after doing that project. I realized that every time the car started actually getting hot, then that's when the clutch pedal would feel like crap. And it was pretty consistent. Like, engine temperature's hot, clutch pedal feels like crap. Engine temperature's cold, clutch pedal feels good. It was a fluid issue because the fluid gets hot, it behaves differently than when it's cool. And one other person online had suggested, you know, deep inside the clutch master cylinder, there's a little seal and the push rod, uh, you know, isn't supposed to touch that seal but you know if you went through the flying miata guide adjusting your push rod maybe you went maybe you were like me and you adjusted it too far and you sort of you went in there a little too far a little yeah you punctured it so now when it's hot the uh when it's hot the fluid can slip past it and making it so you push the pedal and it's not doing as much as it's supposed to because some of the fluid's pushing past instead of it just pushing a bunch of fluid um, yeah, so what I did is I walked the pedal back a little bit, or the clutch, uh, I walked the push rod back just a little bit, then put in a new one of these, bench bled it again. So this is like my fourth one of these in the past year or so. Um, bench bled it, and it's been perfect since. So, yeah, um, now you know. Thanks for watching. Bye.